Hey, what's up guys? Gary Gilgan here. Uh, thanks for joining in day seven or episode seven of You Can Change Your Life. Hope you're having a great day today. Thanks for taking some time to watch this video. Hopefully you learn something that you can take uh, and start applying to your life to change your life. So in this video, I want to talk to you about uh, creating a plan. So creating a plan to accomplish your goals, to get where you want to be, to ultimately change your life. So there's kind of a, a saying out there, by failing to plan, you're planning to fail. Most people don't have a plan for their life. Most people don't set goals. Most people are, are too focused in their current experience, in their current results to really think outside of the box or to really think outside of their current reality. And hopefully if you're watching this video, you're at a point in your life where you're ready to start uh, taking a deeper look at your life, making some goals, making some plans, start executing on those plans. So uh, in today's video, I want to talk to you kind of about how I create, um, how I create a plan, how I set goals. Uh, over the past five videos, I've broken down these five core areas of my life, health, wealth, relationships, spirituality, and my life's purpose. I've taken those five areas, I've broken them down into 90-day goals, big, huge goals that I want to accomplish in 90 days. Things that are really, really big. Things that are outside of my experience right now that... When I get to that other side, when I get to 90 days and I've accomplished those goals, I'll be able to look back over the 90 days and think like, oh my gosh, you know, I've, I've created a tremendous amount of change. I have taken new actions. I have adopted new mindsets. I've, I've practiced feeling new different states of emotion. And that's really what it takes. It's for me is success is really, it, it's, it's two sides. It's really, really simple, but it's really, really difficult. It's difficult to wake up early. It's difficult to eat the same thing every single day. It's difficult to save money. It's difficult to buy, to only spend money on needs and not wants. It's difficult to do those things because they're counterintuitive to your current programming. Okay, everybody within our, within our self, we have programs. Okay, some people are savers, some people are spenders. So it's just a program. Me, I'm, I'm a spender, but I'm also a big, big saver. And it came down to programming because for the first probably 25 years of my life, I never saved money. I, in fact, I spent my money way before it was, was I even got the check. I had it spent. And now I save, I save a, a, a large portion of my income goes to investing into saving money even right now. And it, it took me a lot of discipline and it took me habits. And it took me some strategies that I'm going to show you in these videos on how to do that. But anyway, so to kind of break it down into kind of simple terms is you got to look at where you are right now. So we're talking about this one right now. Where are you now? You got to be honest about, you got to on, take an honest look at your life and you got to ask yourself, where am I now? So where are you as far as weight goes? Where are you as far as money goes? Where are you as far as relationship goes? Where are you as far as your connection to a higher power? Where are you right now? And the more honest and open you can be with yourself, with your spouse, with your partners, with your friends, the, the better it's going to be, the easier it's going to be for you to take action and move forward in your journey. The next is you've got to say, well, where do I want to go? So right now I know where I am and here's where I want to go. So let's, I'm going to use money as an example. Let's say you got a savings account and in your savings account, you got zero dollars. Maybe you got $25, you know, which is the minimum to keep the, the bank account open, but you've never been a saver. You've always been a spender. Okay. Well, let's say in 90 days. Okay. So you want to set a 90 day goal that in 90 days you want to have, let's say $5,000. Okay. And the average in America, 95% of Americans don't even have $5,000 in a savings account, in an investment account. They don't have it. So to most people, when they see that figure $5,000 in cash saved up, they're like, there's no way. How the hell am I ever going to accomplish that type of goal? That's like climbing Mount Everest to a lot of people. But that's the point of a goal. You got to create a goal that's so big that it makes you uncomfortable. 
you're like, man, I do not know how I'm going to make that happen, but I'm going to do, I'm at a point where I'm broke, I'm always broke, I'm tired of being broke, and I'm ready to make a change. So now you got this journey. You got a journey from where you are now to where you want to be. So now you gotta, you got to ask yourself, what do I need to do? What do I need to do and what do I not need to do in order to go from where I am, zero money in the bank account to $5,000 in the bank account? Okay, when you start getting honest and you start creating a plan, you start breaking things down. So number one is I'm going to save, I'm going to save 10% of everything I earn. So there's one idea that I can do. Okay, we'll put the things to do right here and not do right here. Okay, so another thing, what not to do. Okay, here's something that I teach people is stop using credit cards and debit cards. It's okay to keep them, but don't use them because to me it's like magic money. You go, you spend, you're swiping, you go to the gro you go to the gas station every morning before you go to work and get a Red Bull and a donut. Boom, there's a swipe. You go to the grocery store at lunch, boom, there's a swipe. You go to McDonald's, there's a swipe. Swipe, swipe, swipe. And then we have this internal thermometer that tells us, I've been swiping, I bet I'm pretty close to running out of money. So what do you do? If you're anything like me, I used to hop on my computer every morning to see how close I was to being overdrawn in my account. So that's why I tell people, stop using debit cards. So that's one thing, stop using cards. Start using cash. Cash is king. So every morning, if I put 20 bucks in my pocket because that's part of my budget, I know that, hey, I got 20 bucks. This is going to last me the day. I know that, hey, I can go to lunch. I can get a snack. I can do these types of things. But once that 20 bucks is gone, I'm done. And I go fill up my car every single week. I use the debit card on, a, let's say, a Sunday. I fill up my car. Then I put the debit card in a safe or something like that somewhere safe in my house. So it's all about if you really want to achieve success in any area of your life, it comes down to doing things that you're not used to doing. It's all about taking new actions to create new results. Okay, so you got to think, what are some things I can do? What are some things I cannot do? Okay, another thing is I can look for opportunities. Look for new opportunities to make extra money in my spare time. If you work from nine to five, that's a certain period of time. Let's say that's an eight hour block of time that you go to work every day. Okay, then from, let's say from five to nine o'clock, there's four hours of free time. Most people are going home, they're watching TV, they're spending time doing on unproductive things where they could be, there's so many opportunities out there, so many of these network marketing businesses out there where you can go and you can make, you can make an extra thousand dollars a month easy doing these businesses at a part-time level. Okay, so you can look for new opportunities, stop using the card, start creating a budget, a budget, get a coach or an accountability partner, Okay, it's all about creating a list. Create a list of the things you need to do and then create a, thing, a list of things that you don't need to do. As far as money goes, like where are the holes in your buck? Where are the holes in your bow that are sinking the bow? The Red Bull, the donuts, the going out to eat, the going out drinking, all of those things are attributing to you never being financially free. So uh, to me, I got, I got kids. And for me, the older they get, they, I see that they're going to become more and more expensive. Shoes are expensive, clothes are expensive, college is expensive. All of these things take money. And right now, if you're thinking short term, how can I go spend money on the weekend? Or how can I go and, and kind of fill up my tank short term with, again, Red Bulls and soda pop and donuts and all these different types of things? Everything counts. All the money counts. Everything you put in your body is either getting you closer to health or closer to death. Every dollar you spend, closer to wealth, closer to poverty. Everything you do. So for me to create a plan, it's really not hard. It's knowing where you are, knowing where you want to be, and then taking a good hard look at what are you doing now that's holding you back 
And it's usually just the opposite of what you're doing right now that's holding you back that you need to start doing to get you to where you want to be. Okay, so a couple things I want to leave you with is in order for you to really be successful, you number one, you got to have desire. You got to have a burning desire to change. Okay, and usually that desire comes with pain. Okay, according to Tony Robbins, we, we have to be two, we are two times more motivated by pain than we are by pleasure. Okay, so if let's say if you're getting foreclosed on, if you're about to lose your house, that's a tremendous amount of pain that's going to create change in your life where you're going to really look at your life and how you've been living it and how you've been wastefully spending money and you're going to say, hey, I got to change the way I'm doing things. That ha that's exactly what happened to me in 2006. Everything. I lost a house. I sold every material possession that I had. I completely started over. And through that, through that, that house of cards burning down, the phoenix rose from those ashes. And I took a good hard look at what I was doing with my money, the disciplines I was doing, things I was doing, ways I was acting, and I had to change those things. And 10 years now, I've been practicing a lot of those different tactics. The same things going on in my life right now. I see that the old chapter of my life is falling and crumbling and burning away. And through those ashes, a whole new me is going to be born and going to fly out of those ashes. So you've really got to gotta have a strong desire to change. And we're, we're much more motivated by pain than pleasure. So for me, look at your kids. If you've got kids, look at your kids. What type of future are you creating for your kids? What type of future are you creating for yourself? Because we're all going to get hit by this train called age. Okay, one day you and I, we're going to be in our 70s, our 80s, and our 90s. And if we don't plan now, if we don't start doing things like saving, taking care of our bodies, taking care of our relationships, if we don't do those things while we're young and while we have the energy, life is going to catch up on the back end and it's going to whoop our ass. Because there are so many elderly, older folks right now in this country that are getting their asses straight whooped because when they were younger, they were going after instant gratification rather than looking long term. So start looking long term. Look at where you're at right now. Look at where you're at right now. Take a good hard look at your bank account. Take your clothes off. Get butt naked. Get in front of the mirror. Take a good hard look at your life and ask yourself, do I, is this really what I want or do I deserve better? And if you deserve better, create a plan. Create a plan. Where do you want to go? And then get to work. What do you need to start doing? What do you need to stop doing? It's really that simple. It doesn't need to be complicated, but it needs to be, you need to take action. That's the key. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to leave them at the bottom of this video. I'd love to respond to them. I'd love to help you out. Love to help you create a plan. Hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.